Hi, this is Chris Alphen with Dolphin Insulation in Littleton, Mass. I get a few phone calls asking us if we install foam insulation. The answer is no, we don't. So I'm here today in National Fiber in Belchtown, Mass. I'm here with Chris White. We're going to discuss um, some of the reasons that we've chosen you know, to install cellulose insulation versus foam insulation. So Chris, let's talk about the uh, fire issue. Um, with uh, foam versus cellulose. Exactly. Um, the smoke develop that comes off of a, a foam insulation, um, they're, they're rated on a, on a value, and the value that foam has is 450. Uh, cellulose is rated at a five. So very little smoke developed off of cellulose. Um, the other one is that a, a foam insulation typically needs an ignition barrier. An ignition barrier is something that, that will stop the flame from, from getting to the foam. In fact, cellulose is that ignition barrier. In most foams, you can use a cellulose on the outside in order to stop the fire from penetrating to get to the foam. Correct. That's correct. Now, we were, we, people ask me to, um, we, well, we, li we like to let people know about how much, it, how much energy it takes to make cellulose and how much energy it takes to make foam. Right. Well, the, the environmental aspect of it is just uh, night and day. The, the cellulose versus the, the foam, the, the foam is made out of petroleum. Regardless of, of whether it's soy-based or it's, it's water-based, it's really not a base of either of those. At most, it's 14%. Um, so the, the base part of it is, is really not there. The, uh, the cellulose, of course, is made out of recycled newspaper. 83% uh, recycled product and then a mineral borate which is actually it's fire retardant. Um, the embodied energy of making the product, cellulose is about 750 BTUs per pound, where foam is close to 50,000 BTUs per pound. Um, so it, it's considerably more. Um, lastly, recyclability of the product, the, the, the foam just simply has no recycled product in there, whereas cellulose is 83% paper. The other question I get is about um, moisture. And let's, let's tell the viewers about the, the moisture part the, you know, of foam sure. versus cellulose. Sure. Well, the, the foam is what they call hydrophobic, which means afraid of water, essentially. But it means it can't get wet. But when moisture is present in the wall, the moisture is still there, and it has to go somewhere. So that's going to end up, of course, in the studs or in the baseboard. And you know what it does from there, right? I, yeah, we know, we know what it does. It ends up rotting it out. And, and with cellulose, if the water gets in there, it's going to manage it. Just like a paper towel, if you drop water on a paper towel, it's going to spread the water out, go to the warm side, and just dry itself out quickly. Well, these are some of the reasons that we use national fiber here in Belchertown. So again, if you'd like any more information, please go to our website, dolphininsulation.com.